Okay, guys, real quick, we're going to be going over the best gear in the game and what you should have equipped uh, and, and what to look out for throughout the year. Uh, and we're just going to talk about where you get them. Uh, so right off the bat, I want to make this a very quick video. What we're looking for is these numbers on the bottom right corner of your screen. The uh, first one is ground bait. The second one is reels. The third one is lines. And your fourth one is tackles. And like I said, I'm kind of going to go a little quicker through these and kind of tell you what event for they're from and whatnot. But if you're looking for the best gear, now we're going to start with the sunglasses and I've done a video on these if you want to look in the guides down in the uh, description uh, in the playlist you can find it but when you compare the sunglasses to each other there is almost a zero difference and when you I mean they really don't really help you that much other when the sun is like for that one hour blinding you in the face so that's up to you whether you want the sunglasses or not when it comes to your hat uh, the St. Patrick's Day hat holds five and there is a couple others, but this is the easiest one of all of them to get that hold five. And so uh, that affects your tackles list. Now, if you're a person that likes a light, the best way to go about doing that currently that I know of is this hat with the Santa's hat lamp. And uh, the sport comes in the sport bundle, the sport hat. And uh, this comes during the Christmas event. Um, actually with this here, uh, and real quickly, this isn't very usable. It's a, basically, you can throw ground bait in the water, but that is not, it, it's not very usable. So I wouldn't necessarily worry about this, but technically it is the best a piece of equipment for there as it is actually the only one. Um, but like I said, with the hat, so that's up to you whether you have a, a headlamp or not. I generally don't wear one. I actually use this cause it's cool looking, but for the sake of this video, this one is actually going to give you the most. Uh, some of these things are going to be the best in the shop, and you're going to see them uh, when we go to them. Uh, for example, this rod stand is just the last rod stand in the game. This vest is actually the last vest in the game. One thing I want to point out, guys, is the Bitcoin vest is pretty similar, but this one that you buy with the regular in-game cash, actually holds two more ground paints. I don't think most people realize it. Now, I actually like this vest better because of the color, but, you know, it doesn't really matter. And with the rod case and the tackle box, these two are the last two in the shop. So I will show you that real quickly here, guys, where to get them. If you didn't know, they are all the way over here. And I do want to stop to show you the rod stand, which is right there at level 50. And the, the vest here at 61. And you could get, or you could get the Bitcoin one, which I have, uh, if you like the color. But remember, you're going to lose out on two ground baits. And for the, uh, and while we're here uh, as well, uh, this is the best tackle box. And this is the best rod case. And uh, so this one here is actually the best stringer and the best keep net is you probably want to have both as some comp if you do competition, some require a stringer, some require uh, the uh, keep net. Uh, so and in boats. So I'm not going to get too involved in this because uh, it's a kayak and most people, if you're using a kayak, it's just because you like it. But Oh, there is, a, there we go, the popped up there. We got to get rid of that. Uh, that was a comp I did a little bit ago. But anyway, these shops, when you go to boats, uh, if you look at kayaks, we'll start with that. Uh, the best one uh, uh, is of this one here. Actually, this green one isn't much different because the stamina the usage on that one is very good. But as you can see, the max speed is slightly more on the silver one as of this update right now doing this video. So back to here. Uh, your So we've already went over kayaks. But kayaks are going to be more of a personal preference. As uh, myself, I honestly just use the monstrosity because I like the way it looks. Now the boats are going to matter because they're something that a lot of times it comes in the comp. This is uh, the best one here. And I can see if they're in the shop. I don't believe they're in the shop. 
uh, you know, this is the best one you can get without a DLC if you're going that route. But, uh, like I said, the DLC uh, uh, Gary Scott boat is the fastest otherwise. Um, so, one thing I'm going to also show you guys too is your max number actually is in 215. Hopefully this is going to show you how to help out. But what we are going to do is when you get your bag, this is the way you set up. For example, in my backpack is everything I need. I even have stuff for carp boilies. So that can just go wherever I want and it has everything I need in it. Uh, so what we're going to do here is I'm going to show you a snappy little trick to get that number over 215 here. What it requires you to do is put lure poles, uh, spinning or casting rods, but they need to be lure up here and what you're gonna do I'm gonna show you a little trick is you're gonna go ahead and oop we gotta put them back in I did not try to do that is you're gonna equip these crankbaits right to here now it can be anything that doesn't have multiples of one so crankbaits poppers um, you know anything basically in the hard bait section here you can do and as you can see, our number went down to two of seven. And I'm going to show you guys a little trick here. We're going to go to home and we're just going to throw uh, a bunch of these bobbers in here. Let's just throw all them bobbers in until we're full. And what we're going to do is to show you how this works because you don't need to do it permanently. But anyway, you go in here, guys. We'll get to Lone Star. Once you're at Lone Star and you're not at the big home menu, it can't throw that stuff in home, obviously. So what it'll do is make your backpack bigger. And we are going to remove these now. And as you can see, you can just pick whatever ones you want, fill these up with crankbaits or whatever you're using from your bag. And your max number now is 222, guys. Um, and you can switch out these poles over here. Uh, now, after you get your bag to 222, but 222 is your max tackle and lures number uh, spot, guys. Hopefully, yeah, this guide helps you out and you picked up a little something from this, but I uh, did want to show you guys that little trick there at the end that I learned. Uh, so if you guys do, you know, spread that around, let people know that you can use that little trick, the hard bait trick, uh, to get more in your backpack. And so when you go back to home, as you can see, it will go there just so you can see that it stays there at 222. Um, now, of course, if you're going to want to switch your bag, you're going to actually have to, you know, do this little trick again. But it's free to go to Lone Star and do it, so it's really not that big of a deal. Um, and it'll help you get a lot of stuff in there. Hopefully this helps you out, guys. We'll see you next time.